Hello everyone, today I will discuss week 3 assignment solution for the course introduction to soft computing and it's very easy. Question 1, which of the following statement is true for Mamdani approach? So there are two types of approach, Mamdani approach and Sujin approach. For the Mamdani approach, the correct option is option D. That is, it gives us low accuracy but high interpretability. But in the case of a Sujin approach, it is uh, just uh, it's uh, <coughs> reciprocal. So this is the validation for the Mamdani approach. Accuracy will be low, but in the case of Sujin, accuracy will be high. But in case of Mamdani, uh, interpretability will be high. But in case of Sujin, uh, interpretability will be low. Question two. What is the responsibility of fuzzy inference engine? So, the responsibility of fuzzy inference engine is evaluate the control rule stored in a fuzzy rule base. So, this uh, option is correct. And for the validation, you can directly in the fuzzy measurements are then used by the inference engine to evaluate the control rule stored in fuzzy rule base. So option is this way. Question 3. Which of the following is not a part of general fuzzy logic controller? So as we know there are four part fuzzification, defuzzification, rule base and inference engine. So in option fuzzification is there, fuzzy inference engine is there, rule base is there but uh, sensor so this is not the part of general fuzzy logic controller so correct answer is c <coughs> so these are the fuzzy logic controller part fuzzy rule inference engine fuzzification defuzzification but in the question sensor uh, module is also there that is that is the not part of fuzzy logic controller question 4 calculate the minimum value of uh, this function and uh, these are the options so correct answer is d that is one and that is seven <coughs> and i with the help of professor dr anita malik uh, uh, i sold and validate this question and this is the solution for this question so correct option uh, is d and uh, answer is seven that is seven question five which statement is not true for genetic algorithm? Genetic algorithm is an iterative process. It is an iterative process. It is searching technique. Definitely it is a searching technique. Working cycle with or without convergence. Absolutely correct. The solution is guaranteed. This is not the correct statement. A solution may be guaranteed and may not be. So this statement is not true. So correct option is C correct option is C and for this validation it is clearly mentioned solution is not necessarily guaranteed usually terminated with the local optima and uh, both these options are the true for this uh, it's a iterated process searching technique working cycle with or without convergence question 6 which is not a G operation G A operation genetic algorithm operation decoding convergence crossover mutation <coughs> from the option uh, it is the correct answer is decoding decoding is not a, a genetic algorithm operation but convergence crossover and mutation and mutation and mutation these are the of G operation and for this validation uh, what are the uh, GA uh, operator? Uh, there are seven operators which are used in genetic algorithm encoding. In encoding is the operation operator, but decoding is not. <coughs> Convergence is also a G operator. Mating pool is also a G operator. Fitness evaluation is also a G operator. Crossover is also a G operator. Mutation is also a G operator. And inversion is also a G operator. So decoding is not the G operator. Question 7. Which of the following is false about the steady state genetic algorithm? <coughs> so, genetic algorithm, sim, uh, <coughs> normal genetic algorithm, simple genetic algorithm, and steady state genetic algorithm. There are various types of genetic algorithm available. So, for steady state genetic algorithm, which of the following is false? 
genetic uh, generation gap is large so this is the false statement because in case of steady state genetic algorithm state generation gap is small which is so correct answer is a this is the false statement perform better when the population size is small definitely premature convergence may results definitely it is a right statement correct statement it is susceptible to stagnation it is also a correct statement <coughs> which is incorrect that is generation gap is large in case of ssga <coughs> generation gap is small and this is the validation for ssga generation gap is small but in the option generation gap is large so that's why and that is the false statement and uh, population size will be small uh, then it is best applicable <coughs> question 8 which of the following statement is not true about various operation of genetic algorithm crossover operation create diverse set of next operation it is the <coughs> correct statement fitness evaluation check the goodness of a particular solution it is also a correct statement <coughs> the convergence is checked by using the termination criteria uh, it is uh, also a correct statement <coughs> now mutation is not applied for genetic algorithm this is false statement because we already seen in the previous slide mutation crossover inversion all these are the applied to the genetic algorithm so the question is which of the following statement is not true therefore mutation is not applied <coughs> it is the, uh, applied for genetic algorithm therefore this is the uh, false statement <coughs> so correct option is d question 8 with validation so inversion mutation crossover fitness and all these are the uh, operator which are applied but in the question it is clearly mentioned mutation mutation is not applied but mutation is applied and to explore other solution so <coughs> all these operations are applied question 9 which of the following statement is true about simple genetic algorithm low cost low computational cost has known overlapping generation <coughs> the best individual may appear in any iteration perform better when initial population size is small <coughs> so which of the following statement is true about this so the true statement is best individual may appear any iteration low computational cost no it is highly cost computational <coughs> overlapping generations and perform better when initial population size is small so for this validation these are the some features of <coughs> sga have overlapping generation so this is the correct statement computationally expensive okay good when initial population size is large okay but in the option uh, good when initial population size is small computationally uh, low cost and has no overlapping so all these options are there with the <coughs> Uh, negative statement and uh, but the correct option we have to choose uh, the best individual may appear in any iteration so this one is the only statement which is true as per the question <coughs> and last question the last step of <coughs> fuzzy logic controller system is fuzzification of input rule strength computation rule based creation and defuzzification of the fuzzy output so this one is the simplest question because when we took the input uh, uh, crisp input uh, first of all we have to con convert into into fuzzification <coughs> of input that is crisp in input into fuzzy input after that rule phase and inference and after in the last step we want uh, our output as a crisp output <coughs> so in the last option uh, in the defuzzification we are going to convert our fuzzy output into <coughs> defuzzy uh, crisp output so last uh, step of fuzzy logic controller is defuzzification of fuzzy output this is the correct answer and 
for this validation you can see that this output fuzzy set is then converted into a single crisp value or a vector or value this is the final step called defuzzification so thank you so much i hope uh, uh, every questions is validated and all the questions are uh, accurate and there will be 100 percent accuracy in this time and if there is any discrepancy let me know so that we can update and uh, submitted the correct uh, answers or solution to the nptl portal thank you so much